Today we're gonna to talk about some security basics that you should know, or that you should be teaching your friends and family. Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions, and I really hope that you guys have been enjoying these security videos. It's something that I am very passionate about, and it's something that I just like to share with everybody. So getting into today's video, I wanna make an obvious statement. Some of the things that I talk about in this video will be completely obvious to a lot of you out there. However, some people may be completely oblivious to some of the content that is covered in this video. So that is just the obvious statement that I have to cover because of reasons. So let's get into it. So we're gonna cover a few standard procedures to keep your friends, family, and yourself protected. This is some information that you should know or should already know or that you should be sharing. Password protect your devices. It should be a given nowadays, but you would be surprised how many people do not password protect any of their devices, whether it's your computer, your router, which meaning you, your router typically does have a default username and password. Make sure that your friends and family are changing that default username and password, especially that password. Your cell phones, a lot of people don't even use a pin at all. They just swipe and unlock it, your tablets, anything and everything that connects to the internet should have a password, even your home computer. Yeah, everything. Put a password on everything. It's just a security protocol and you should follow it. To follow along with that, lock your devices. Yes, even if you're at work, especially when you're out in the public. When you're at home, meh. But when you're walking away from your devices, please ensure that they are locked. It's so incredibly easy to swipe a phone, a tablet, a laptop, and if it's unlocked, it makes it so incredibly easy for the person who swiped it to get access to all of your files. Now, of course, even if it is password protected, it still can be accessed. But imagine how much easier it is to access all of your files and everything when you leave things unlocked. So please lock your devices. Change your passwords for the love of everything binary. Routinely change your passwords. How often? This one is, it's like a great debate. It's debated so often that it's really annoying at this point. In my opinion, I would say one to two times per year. I think that's fair, I think that's fine. But please, this is the most important part of this. Do not use the same password on sensitive websites. So meaning, don't use the same password on your banking website that you would use on your Amazon account that you make all your purchases from, or your credit card site where you manage your credit card from. Make sure that those passwords are different. And if you wanna know why, if you wanna think about it, if you, if I get access to your password and it's the same across all your different financial sites, now I have access to all of your monies. Is that good? No, it's not that good. Now, if I get access to your email password, it makes it a lot easier to get the passwords to all these other sites. But the more difficult that you can make it for potential hackers and things like that, the better. So please just keep that in mind. Now, the biggest pushback that I always get when I'm telling people to change their passwords often is, I can't remember it. I never remember it. Can I just write it down on a piece of paper and put it under my keyboard? No. Don't do that. You can use password storage uh, applications like LastPass, things like that. They are stored encrypted, so it should be okay. Uh, there's no 100%. There, I don't think there is ever a 100% foolproof way to store your passwords aside from your memory. Your memory, this right here, right here, is the safest way to store all of your passwords. Period, hands down. Sharing, please never share your credentials, ever. Never, ever, ever share your credentials. Never let somebody even use your account, even if they're right next to you. It's a big no-no in the IT world. So when you hear of people sharing accounts, make sure that you take the responsible steps to make sure that doesn't happen any longer. And if you yourself are doing that, you should probably stop doing that. 
That's not good. Pay attention and verify. Some of what I'm talking about right here, you guys are gonna find in a future video, but pay attention to your emails. Pay attention to who it's coming from, pay attention to the information within it, and then pay attention to the things you click on, whether that's the things you click on in that email or the things you click on on websites. Please pay attention to those things. It's very, very important. And it's okay to ask questions and verify. Contact your friends and family, even your IT department, and ask questions. If you feel that something is unsafe, contact somebody and ask them. It's better to be safe than sorry. Always try to verify the best that you possibly can before you do something that you shouldn't have. It's okay to question everything. We live in a world where everything really should be questioned, especially when it comes to everything on the internet you need to be sure that you are doing your due diligence to question anything that you could click on, anything that you're getting in your emails, and be sure that you are doing the right thing. That's all I got for today's video. I know this is a little bit different, but I really hope that this video gets shared and people that need to see this and need to hear some of this information are watching it. If you guys have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please hit me up in the comments below. As always, take it easy.